Assalamualaikum. I'm Talat Suhail. I welcome you all to Virtual University's program on theories of personality. Dear students, today is our lecture number three. We are still talking about introduction to what is a personality theory. We will recap before beginning with the lecture number three. We'll recap what we did in lecture number two, and then we'll begin with our lecture number three. So let us recap what we did in lecture number two. In lecture number two, we were talking about personality. Well, personality is a term which does not have a common definition. It is something which has been used by many personality theorists differently. So the term personality has many meanings. as many meanings as the number of personality theorists who have tried to define it according to their own educational background according to their own uh, uh, psychological personality theory according to their own perception of what is personality so we are talking about what is personality now in our daily life we hear the word personality being used by people in a number of ways you hear person saying a has a lot of personality b has a great personality c has a very aggressive and shy personality to jab hum ye sare labels use kar rahe hote hain with reference to personality so there is a very common question that comes to your mind what is personality well personality refers to characteristic ways a person behaves and thinks so it is an overall impression that an individual makes on others or it is a sum total of constellation of characteristics that are typical of the individual and thus observable in various situations so personality refers to characteristic ways an individual thinks or behaves ya aap keh sakte hain it refers to an impression that individual has on the other person baat aap se ho rahi hai what is personality and in our last lecture we went through the word personality we said that it is derived from a latin word persona and persona means a mask that greek theatrical actors used to wear while performing on the stage so pers- persona generally also refers to the public personality dear students there are two components of your personality a private side of your personality with which only you are familiar and there is a public personality which you display in front of individuals who are around you so these are two different aspects and together they make the total person we should not take the public personality for the total person uske baad humne ye dekha tha ki different personality theorists have defined personality differently but when we go through all these definitions we come across that there are certain common theoretical themes or features which are prevalent in almost all definitions of personality sabse pehli jo common theme hai wo ye hai ki all definitions take personality as an abstraction as an hypothetical construct second important thing is that all definitions of personality they focus on individual differences how one individual differs from the other one third is that almost all definitions of personality they take into account the influence of individuals personal history developmental perspective and the changing environment or circumstances an individual is passing through 
तो ये वो तीन कॉमन फीचर्स हैं कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं जो आपको ऑलमोस्ट सारी पर्सनैलिटी थेरीज में जनाब मिलते हैं और नजर आते हैं पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी एज अ फील्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट ट्राइज टू इंटीग्रेट एंड सिंथेसाइज ऑल द जनरल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ जनरल साइकोलॉजी एंड ट्राइज टू यूज दैम इन एक्सप्लेनिंग वॉट इज पर्सनैलिटी हाउ बिहेवियर डिवेलप्स हाउ एन इंडिविजुअल प्रोग्रेस इन लाइफ सो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल इन ऑल थेरीज देर इज अ फोकस ऑन यूजिंग द जनरल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द एरियाज ऑफ साइकोलॉजी इन एक्सप्लेनिंग ह्यूमन पर्सनैलिटी एंड ह्यूमन नेचर उसके बाद जनाब हमने देखा था कि देर हैव बीन फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स विच हैव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन मेकिंग पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी अ साइंस जिसमें सबसे पहला था यूरोपियन क्लिनिकल मेडिसिन नंबर टू वी टॉक अबाउट बिहेवियरिज्म साइकोमीट्रिक्स एंड गेस्टॉल साइकोलॉजी सो वी बेसिकली वेंट थ्रू द फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स विच कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन मेकिंग पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी अ डिसिप्लिन अ साइंस और हमने उसमें स्टडी किया था यूरोपियन क्लिनिकल मेडिसिन बिहेवियरिज्म गेस्टॉल साइकोलॉजी जी बिल्कुल सही साइकोमीट्रिक्स सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट दो थिंग्स नाउ एट प्रेजेंटली द फील्ड ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट टेक्स इन टू अकाउंट द टोटल पर्सन वी आर स्टडिंग एन इंडिविजुअल ए पर्सनैलिटी सो एज अ डिसिप्लिन दिस पर्टिक्यूलर साइंस has to make its door open to all the changes all the new things that are happening so whether it's cross cultural influences whether it's computer technology whether it's the social changes that are taking place or whether it's more awareness that is coming within an individual all contribute in making personality psychology is science baat aap se ho rahi hai janab what is personality and that is as far as what we talked about in our lecture number 2 dear students today we are going to discuss with you number 1 personality assessment how we measure personality how we assess personality aur usme hum dekhenge ki we use a number of tools janab hum istemal karte hain observation we use interview we use personality test aur jab personality test ki baat aati hai to usme hum istemal karte hain objective personality test jisme personality inventories aayengi mmpi 1 mini sota multiphasic personality inventory mmpi 2 which is a revised version of mmpi 1 aur hum uske baad dekhenge a number of projective tests जिसमें रोशाक इंग ब्लॉट टेस्ट टी ए टी थीमेटिक ए परसेप्शन टेस्ट रॉटर्स इनकम्प्लीट सेंटेंस ब्लैंक टेस्ट डब्ल्यू ए टी वर्ड एसोसिएशन टेस्ट एच टी पी हाउस ट्री पर्सन इसके अलावा भी जिना बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्टिव टेस्ट हैं बेशुमार हैं लेकिन ये वो बेसिक टाइप्स हैं जो पर्सनैलिटी के बारे में वैल्यूबल इंफॉर्मेशन देते so dear students today we will be talking about personality assessment aur dusri taraf hum baat karenge aapke sath ki personality can be studied with reference to four perspectives with reference to four approaches number 1 the psychodynamic approach number 2 the dispositional approach number 3 the behavioral approach and number 4 the humanistic approach so these four perspectives or approaches or systems or schools contribute in the understanding of personality psychology aur hum in charon ko dekhenge one by one focus hamara charon pe hoga psychodynamic ko bhi dekhenge dispositional ko bhi dekhenge behavioral ko bhi dekhenge humanistics ko bhi dekhenge so let us begin with our today's lecture that is personality assessment 
जनाब बात आपसे हो रही है कि पर्सनैलिटी असेसमेंट साइकोमीट्रिक्स और साइकोलॉजिकल मेजरमेंट इज अ साइंस दिस इज अ स्पेसिफिक फील्ड विच हैज हेल्प्ड इन मेकिंग साइकोलॉजी अ साइंस साइकोमीट्रिक्स और साइकोलॉजिकल मेजरमेंट इट हेल्प्स इन मेजरिंग पर्सनैलिटी it provides us with valuable information related to an individual's intelligence aptitude attitude emotional stability you name it each and every area of the personality can be measured by a psychological test interview observation or other techniques so we are talking about the role of psychometrics or psychological measurement psychological measurements have helped psychology in trying to quantify behavior and with the advent of psychometrics and with the tools of psychological measurement jisme observation bhi hai interview bhi hai psychological tests bhi hain with their help research in personality psychology has become very meaningful because without quantifying personality it was not able to carry on with research in personality psychology bahut sare sawalat aapke zehen mein aate hain jab bhi hum measurement ki baat karte hain aksar ek sawal jo bahut aapke zehen mein aata hai wo ye aata hai ki why does a friendly person gets nasty and or mean kyun ek bahut uh, pleasant sa individual jo hai wo nasty aur mean li aap se act karta hai or what makes a person very confident and optimistic even under stressful situation now to address questions like these we take help from psychological measurement or psychological assessment now personality assessment or personality measurement procedures are the ones which provide very useful information in understanding human nature or individual differences now there are a number of tools which are available aur jo bahut common basic tools hain they include number 1 observation number 2 interview and number 3 tests टेस्ट्स की जब बात करेंगे डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट और जब पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट की हम आपसे बात कर रहे हैं तो इसमें ऑब्जेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट और पर्सनालिटी इन्वेंट्रीज आएंगी नंबर टू प्रोजेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट आएंगे विच हैव अ नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट बट वील बी डिस्कसिंग द बेसिक वन सो लेट अस सी वॉट डू वी मीन बाय ऑब्जेक्टिव पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट objective personality tests have clear specific questions for example if there is there is a question like do you worry about yourself without any reason the answer to this question can be in form of yes no true false multiple choice these tests can be scored objectively and the obtained scores can be compared to others of the individual's age and genders so we are talking about objective tests humne kaha objective te- uh, personality tests wo hain which have a clear definite question in front of you for example if there is a question like do you worry about yourself without any reason so if the the answer to this question can be in yes no format true false format or in form of multiple choice ऑब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट का एडवांटेज ये है कि जो ऑप्टेन स्कोर है इंडिविजुअल का दैट कैन बी कंपेयर्ड विद दिस इंडिविजुअल्स एज ग्रुप फेलोस एंड द सेम जेंडर और विद ऑपोजिट जेंडर इंडिविजुअल्स सो ऑब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट हैव द एडवांटेज ऑफ डायरेक्ट आस्किंग क्वेश्चंस टू द इंडिविजुअल एंड दे कैन बी ऑब्जेक्टिवली स्कोर and their scores are comparable to an individual's own age group fellows and same gender fellows as well as other gender fellows projective tests projective tests consist of unstructured stimuli like ink blot picture cards incomplete sentences 
just words which can be perceived and responded to in many ways. Since the stimuli are unstructured, the individual will project his needs, fantasies, conflicts, thought patterns and other aspects of personality on the stimuli. The scoring has been, has, is subjective and there is a lot of looseness that lowers the reliability and validity of these tests. We are talking about projective tests and we have said that projective personality tests are where the stimuli is unstructured. It is in form of ink blots, picture cards, incomplete sentences or just words which are presented to the individual and the individual completes these sentences or provides the other word that comes to his mind and when he is responding to these unstructured stimuli, actually the individual is projecting his own needs, his own personality, his own attitudes, his own perception on the unstructured stimuli and in this way he is revealing his personality. So, projective tests are indirect methods of personality study, but they, there's, there's a lot of subjectivity in them and they have lower reliability and validity. And that is why there's a lot of criticism on the, on the scoring of projective tests. Dear students, we are talking about tools used in assessment or we have tools we use in personality assessment and we have focused on observation, interview, personality test and in personality test we have said objective personality test, projective personality test and we were discussing with you that what is the objective personality test and what is the projective personality test. Now, let us see what is observation. Observation. The observation of people's behavior can be done with their permission at their home, school, hospital or by themselves. So, observation is a technique of observing an individual's behavior and this behavior can be observed at home, at school, at hospital and this observation can be done by the clinician or by the individual himself. But of course, if there is self-observation going to be done by the individual himself, well then there is a lot of training which is going to be provided to the individual how to observe himself. So, let us talk about these observations. So, observation at home includes visiting a home and observing the family members at mealtime what sort of interactions are taking place between the family members at mealtime? Observation at school is observing a child in the playground, how he interacts with other children. Self-observation of course would involve asking the person to keep a track of or to monitor themselves by uh, keeping a record. For example, an individual says he eats a lot, he suffers from obesity. So, by using self-observation, we can ask the person to keep a track of or to monitor his eating behavior. Hospital observation? Well, at hospital observation, either a nurse or a person who works at the hospital or a family member is trained to observe the patient patient in the hospital, how he takes his food, his medicine and how he behaves to other people around him. Dear students, we are talking about observation as a technique of personality assessment and we have said that isme there are a number of observations which are included. We can observe the person at home, at school, at hospital. And we can even ask the person to do self-observation, self-monitoring, this aap kehte that is self-observation. Now, it's very important that when we are talking about observation, it's very important that the person observes the concerned individual's behavior and the environment in which this particular behavior is taking place. Please keep in mind that 
usually we are talking about observation at home at school at hospital well these are observations where the they we have not brought in any changes well if the experimenter or clinician wants to observe behavior under controlled environment say in the laboratory then it's a different uh, it, then it's a different type of observation which is taking place is a of controlled observation laboratory observation kehte hain dear students we are talking about observation aur humne ye dekha ke observation provides you with a very sound information related to personality of the individual second technique that we have is interview the interview is the most commonly used procedure in psychological assessment interviews provide an opportunity to ask people for their own descriptions of their personality interviews also allow clinicians to observe important features of a person's appearance and non verbal behavior so interviews are a very important source of directly asking an individual to describe his personality or to provide information related to his personality and mind you while the interview is taking place observation is also going on the clinician is also observing the client as well now interviews vary with regard to structure there are interviews number 1 which are unstructured or open ended and there are interviews which are highly structured जनाब बात आपसे हो रही है इंटरव्यू की और हमने कहा एज फार एज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द इंटरव्यू इज कंसर्न दे डिफर देर आर इंटरव्यूज विच आर ओपन एंडेड फ्लेक्सीबल देर आर हाईली स्ट्रक्चर्ड इंटरव्यूज स्ट्रक्चर्ड इंटरव्यूज इन विच द क्लिनिशन मस्ट आस्क ईच इंडिविजुअल और पेशेंट अ स्पेसिफिक लिस्ट ऑफ डिटेल क्वेश्चन दैट लीड टू अ डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द पर्सन बिहेवियर एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस so structured interview schedules provide a systematic framework for collection of important diagnostic information but they don't eliminate the need for an experienced clinician so structured interviews are where the clinician has a specific detailed set of questions and these detailed questions are asked to the individual in a sequence in an order and valuable information is collected leading to diagnosis of the client or other important areas when it comes to unstructured interviews well there is no specific list of questions there is no specific number of questions there is no specific order of asking the question rather the questions are asked as they come to the clinician's mind and they are put to the person so structured interviews give get you systematic information related to personality of an individual dear students we are talking about methods of personality assessment usme hamare paas ek aur important method of personality assessment hai behavioral coding system behavioral coding systems focus on the frequency of specific behavioral events some adult clients are able to make records and keep track of their own behavior a procedure known as self monitoring yana baat aap se ho rahi behavioral coding systems ki jisme humne kaha ki an individual is trained and asked to keep a track or a record of his own frequency of certain events or behaviors that are taking place or isko hum kehte hain self monitoring let's take few examples example number 1 how many cigarettes an individual smokes during the day how many times did an individual fights with his wife how many cups of coffee do i take in a day so these are all the techniques behavioral coding systems that tell us about how a specific event how it is recorded by an individual himself so that is self monitoring jinab baat aap se ho rahi hai ki 
मेथड्स ऑफ पर्सनालिटी असेसमेंट की और इन मेथड्स ऑफ पर्सनालिटी असेसमेंट में हमने आपसे अभी तक जो जिक्र किया है वो एक ऑब्जर्वेशन और इंटरव्यू और बिहेवियल कोडिंग सिस्टम्स की नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट की जब बात आएगी जनाब तो सबसे पहले हमारे पास है ऑब्जेक्टिव पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट नाउ ऑब्जेक्टिव पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट हैव अ क्लियर स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमने शुरू में आपसे कहा था कि इफ देर इज अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक डू यू वरी अबाउट योर सेल्फ विदाउट एनी रीजन सो देर कैन बी दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन कैन हैव अ नंबर ऑफ वेज ऑफ रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू आईदर इन येस और नो फॉर्म ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉर्म और इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस और हमने कहा कि जो भी स्कोर एक इंडिविजुअल का आएगा वो कंपेयर कर लेंगे आप उसी इंडिविजुअल के सेम एज फेलो से और सेम जेंडर फेलो से सो so, इसका एडवांटेज ये है कि वी हैव गॉट अ क्लियर स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस द स्कोरिंग इज इजियर एंड द ऑप्टेन स्कोर ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल इज कंपेयरेबल विद अदर्स सो बात आपसे हो रही है कि ऑब्जेक्टिव पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट की उसमें हमारे पास जो है पर्सनैलिटी इन्वेंट्रीज personality inventories present an elaborate picture of an individual's overall personality including the traits the characteristics the tendency the styles that are thought to underlie behavior the questions in personality inventory are presented in form of statements these statements are the items of the test many personality inventories are available such as mmpi मिनी सोटा मल्टी फेजिक पर्सनैलिटी इन्वेंट्री दिस टेस्ट वॉज डिवेलप्ड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एंड पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री बात आपसे हो रही है जनाब एम एम पी आई की हमने कहा एम एम पी आई इज अ पर्सनैलिटी इन्वेंट्री पर्सनैलिटी इन्वेंट्री रिफर टू अ टेस्ट इन विच देयर आर स्टेटमेंट्स एंड दीज स्टेटमेंट्स आर द आइटम्स ऑफ द पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट एंड दीज स्टेटमेंट्स are presented to the subject and they the person has to respond either in yes or no true false or in form of multiple choice now in mmpi uh, it is basically a test which was developed quite uh, in 1940 published in 1943 it has got some uh, 550 items there are 10 clinical scales and four validity scales meaning when i use the word 10 clinical scales it means that this test can diagnose a person on 10 clinical disorders and it has got four validity scales ye four validity scales jo hain ye jo hain iski objectivity iske empirical data collect karke dete hain and they tell us or give us information related to an individual Then now when we are talking about MMPI 1 MMPI 1 was revised and revalidated and MMPI 2 was published with a slight difference in number of items agar MMPI 1 mein 550 items the MMPI 2 mein 565 items hain Now mind you this is a personality inventory and this is an objective personality test used for personality assessment dear students we have got another category of personality test jise aap kehte hain projective personality test psychoanalytic personality theorists have developed several assessment procedures known as projective tests they include a variety of methods in which ambiguous stimuli such as pictures of people things are presented to a person who is asked to describe what he or she sees the theory is that the that people project their own personality their needs their wishes their desires their unconscious fears on other people and things such as ink blots pictures sometimes vague and sometimes structured projective tests are based on psychoanalytic theory Dear students we are talking about projective personality test humne kaha ke psychoanalytic personality theorists 
have devised a method of measuring personality jisko wo projective personality test kehte hain they use a number of unstructured stimuli such as ink blots picture cards incomplete sentences or just words and they present these unstructured stimuli to the subject and asks him what he or she sees in them so when an individual is giving his perception he is trying to project his needs his fantasies his wishes his desires on the in unstructured stimuli in the picture card in the ink blot or in the incomplete sentence so he is reflecting a part of himself he is projecting a part of his personality on that unstructured stimuli so that is a very valuable source of assessing personality ab janab hamare paas bahut sare projective personality tests hain rashak ink blot test thematic a perception test tat rotter's incomplete sentence blank r i s b word association test w a t house tree person http and dear students there are many many more but these are the basic types which we'll talk about and i'm i'm certain i'm sure you'll enjoy listening about them you, you they they provide a very valuable source of personality assessment so we are talking about projective personality test और हमने कहा प्रोजेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट में हमारे पास जो सबसे पहला प्रोजेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट है वो रोशाक इंग ब्लॉक टेस्ट नाउ दिस टेस्ट वाज डेवलप्ड इन 1921 बाय अ स्विस साइकोलॉजिस्ट हर्मन रोशा दिस टेस्ट कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ 10 इंग ब्लॉक्स दीस 10 इंग ब्लॉक कार्ड्स आर प्रेजेंटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट वन बाय वन some of the picture cards are colored some of the ink blot cards are in black and white and gray so the clinician presents the picture card to the subject one by one and asks him what he sees in the picture card so the response of the uh, client or patient is noted down the number of responses the focus on part of the ink blot or on whole of the ink blot any movement that the client or subject sees in the ink blot card and so there are a number of ways of scoring rorschach ink blot test jisme exner scoring system is popular which tells us how a clinician should present the ink blot cards to the subject how it should be scored and very important thing what information we get from it dusra hamare paas jo test hai wo hai ji thematic a perception test tat now this test was devised by henry murray this consists of 31 picture cards 30 are picture cards and one is a blank card so the card we select in number of pictures not all 31 cards are to be used with the same subject a number of cards are selected and they are presented one by one to the subject now the subject has to make a dramatic story about the picture card who are the characters in the picture what are they doing and what is going to be the outcome of this particular story so a story should have a title a beginning a middle part and an end hamara isme basic jo premises hai aur basic jo focus hai dear students wo ye hota hai ki when you write a story you um, you always begin to identify with the one of the characters in the picture card aap kisi ek character ke sath identify karte hain aur aap apni tamam needs wishes desires perceptions attitude you project it on that particular uh, character of the story so usually it has been seen that most of the individuals they identify themselves with the hero with the main character 
and project their needs on that particular individual. उसके बाद जनाब हमारे पास एक और important test है and that is Rotter's incomplete sentence blank test. Rotter's incomplete sentence blank R I S B. Dear students, R I S B is a test which consists of a series of unfinished sentences or incomplete sentences which are presented to the subject these sentences are related to individual's family life sexual life or generally about his attitudes towards life so the, there are some 40 incomplete stems or sentences such as girls are the individual is asked to finish it I wish, the person has to finish, I wish for a very peaceful, prosperous, I wish for something very good for myself, I wish this was a holiday, vagera, vagera, vagera. So actually in these incomplete sentences, you are trying to fulfill your wishes, your needs, your uh, uh, general attitudes related to these three areas of life. Now this test has got uh, two scorings. It has got a qualitative scoring method and a quantitative scoring method. Yani isme jo sentences aap mukammal karte hain, unke uska quality of response ko bhi hum uh, score karte hain aur uski quantity of the response ko ki aapne kitne positive statements diye, kitne negative statements diye, kitne conflicts wale statement the aur kitne neutral statement the. For example, if this, there's an incomplete sentence like the sun, so you say the sun uh, rises from the east or sets in the west. So that is a universal truth. That you are not adding anything related to your personality. It's just a neutral statement. After that, we have another projective personality test. And that is house tree person, HTP. Now, this is a test in which uh, we ask the person to make three drawings. A drawing of a house, tree and person. And we tell us before that this is not a test of an artistic ability. We don't measure its artistic talents. But it is a test that is a test that measures its attitudes. So measure the house reflects an individual's interpersonal relationships. Tree reflects ego development and functioning and the person re reflects attitudes and perception related to one's own self as well as to other people or other gender. Now, baat aap se ho rahi hai janaab projective personality test ki. Humne ka projective personality test jo hai, wo, they are indirect methods of providing information related to personality assessment. Aur humne ka inki limitations hai, sabse pehli baat ye ke they lack standardization. Number two, uh, there is a lot of subjectivity in scoring. Number three, uh, most of the projective personality tests, they have lower reliability and validity and because of that, Projective personality tests are controversial. We used this term in the beginning that projective personality tests are controversial because of their limitations, because of their disadvantages. Dear students, we are talking about personality and we have said that personality measurement is what we will do. Number one, using objective personality tests, using projective personality tests, using behavioral coding systems, using observation, using interview. Now let us talk about another very important significant aspect. Personality can be approached or studied using perspectives, using different approaches. And there are four major perspectives or approaches which we will talk about. Number one, the psychodynamic perspective. Number two, the dispositional perspective. Number three, the behavioral perspective. And number four, the humanistic perspective. Dear students, her perspective jo hai, that is equally important, that have 
that has contributed to personality psychology as a discipline as a science but each of the perspective is trying to focus on one thing if it's psychodynamic perspective it's focusing on unconscious and childhood experiences aur agar hum dispositional perspective ki baat karte hain to it is focusing on traits internal traits characteristics और अगर हम बिहेवियरल परस्पेक्टिव पे फोकस करते हैं तो ये फोकस करता है कि ऑल बिहेवियर इज अ लर्न फनोमिना एंड ऑल बिहेवियर इज लर्न फ्रॉम द इन्वायरमेंट और बिहेवियर्स का सारा फोकस ही ऑब्जर्वेबल बिहेवियर पे था इन द बिगनिंग इट वाज क्वाइट लेटर दैट दे एडेड द रोल ऑफ थिंकिंग एटीट्यूड परसेप्शन सो कॉग्निशन का रोल बाद में एड हुआ then the humanistic pers- perspective jinka focus jo hai wo self ke upar hai self as the most important reality in a person and how an individual perceives himself aur ye jo self ke upar sara focus hai that is very important in humanistic uh, perspective Dear students we are beginning with the second part of our lecture which is focusing on four important perspectives of personality study and that is psychodynamic dispositional behavioral humanistic perspectives of psychology the psychodynamic approach was founded by freud who assumes that a human personality is formed out of conflicts between basic needs and demands of the society and most of these conflicts are at the unconscious level and they affect our everyday behavior so the first perspective psychodynamic perspective was founded by the pioneer is sigmund freud who assumes that human personality is uh, formed by unconscious and childhood experiences and this unconscious it affects our everyday behavior uske alawa sigmund freud ka focus hai aapke teen levels of conscious ke upar the conscious level the preconscious or subconscious and the unconscious level so he is focusing on three conscious levels लेकिन ज्यादा वो कहते हैं कि ही इज ट्राइंग टू स्टडी पर्सनैलिटी विद रेफरेंस टू अनकॉन्शियस ओनली द कॉन्शियस द प्री कॉन्शियस को इग्नोर करता है और सारा फोकस जो है वो अनकॉन्शियस के ऊपर देन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट पर्सनैलिटी स्ट्रक्चर विद रेफरेंस टू इड ईगो सुपर ईगो इड इज द इेशनल पार्ट ऑफ यू द चाइल्ड पार्ट ऑफ यू द ईगो इज द रैशनल पार्ट ऑफ यू and the super ego is the moral arm and the ego is in between it and super ego so ego faces an intra psychic conflict there is pressure from the id there is pressure from the super ego and ego has to mediate or resolve the conflict between the two and got to find out the middle way उसके बाद इट वॉज फ्रॉयड हु गेव आर सर्टन मेथड्स और टेक्निक्स ऑफ टैपिंग द अनकॉन्शियस इसमें थ्री एसोसिएशन ड्रीम एनालिसिस एनालिसिस ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एनालिसिस ऑफ ह्यूमर एंड मेनी मेनी मोर थिंग्स सो ही आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड मेथड्स ऑफ रीचिंग द अनकॉन्शियस हिज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इज रिलेटेड विद साइको सेक्चुअल स्टेजेस ऑफ डिवेलपमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू फ्रॉयड एन इंडिविजुअल पासिस थ्रू फाइव साइको सेक्चुअल स्टेजेस ऑफ डिवेलपमेंट एंड पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट टेक्स प्लेस वेन एन इंडिविजुअल इज प्रोग्रेसिंग फ्रॉम वन स्टेज टू एन अदर एंड एवरी स्टेज of psychosexual development is equally important ye kehna ke pehli stage important hai dusri nahi hai teesri important each and every stage contributes to personality development according to freud now this is a perspective which has been criticized the most the psychodynamic perspective has been criticized the most 
नाउ देर आर सम अदर साइकोडाइनेमिक थेरिस एज वेल जिसमें हमारे पास यूंग है एडलर है और कैरन हॉनी है डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस गो थ्रू द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी और वो है द डिस्पोजिशनल अप्रोच द डिस्पोजिशनल अप्रोच एज्यूम्स दैट पर्सनैलिटी इज मेड अप ऑफ अ सेट ऑफ स्टेबल इंटरनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट गाइड बिहेवियर दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर डिस्क्राइब एज पर्सनैलिटी टाइप्स but more often each person's unique combination of these traits factors or needs is important these are inherited tendencies or traits which are the raw material which is molded into a unique personality by an individual so we are talking about the dispositional state and this dispositional approach is important it it is concerned with a unique set of internal traits characteristics which an individual has and it is environment which molds these traits so when we are talking about the dispositional approach dear students we will be talking about uh, number 1 kelly's the- personality theory aur fir hum aap se baat karenge mares need theory ke upar to the needs the characteristics the traits that an individual possesses and the environment in which it is being expressed the unique way in which these traits are expressed in the environment forms the basic paradigm of the dispositional approach or dispositional perspective the behavioral approach the behavioral approach assumes that personality is a unique pattern of learned behavior that people display in various situations this perception is advocated by watson and skinner there are certain behaviorists who include the role of learned patterns of thinking as well and the approach is labeled as cognitive behavioral approach which emphasizes on behavior as a as an outcome of person situation interactions the third is the behavioral approach behavioral approach mein focus ye hai ki all the behavior is a learned phenomena aapka jitna bhi behavior hai you learn it so whether it's good behavior bad behavior normal behavior abnormal behavior all is a learned phenomena और बिहेवियरिस्ट का इनिशियल फोकस जो था वो ऑब्जर्वेबल बिहेवियर के ऊपर सिर्फ था इट वाज क्वाइट लेटर दैट द रोल ऑफ कॉग्निशन थिंकिंग वाज एडेड और अब आप उसको कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरल मॉडल भी उनका मौजूद है सो दिस पर्सपेक्टिव नाउ आल्सो टेक्स इनटू अकाउंट द कॉग्निशन द थिंकिंग पैटर्न ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल सो दिस इज द थर्ड अप्रोच इसमें जनाब हम आपसे बात करेंगे वॉटसन की पर्सनैलिटी थे इसमें हम आपसे बात करेंगे स्किनर की थेरी की इसमें आपसे बात करेंगे जनाब विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट विद रेफरेंस टू एल्बर्ट बेंडियूरा सोशल लर्निंग मॉडल देखेंगे एंड मेनी मेनी मोर थेरीज एज वेल द फोर्थ इम्पॉर्टेंट परस्पेक्टिव इज ह्यूमनिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव और ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द एग्जाम्पन that personality is determined by the unique ways in which each individual views the world these perceptions of the person forms a personal vision of reality and guides behavior of the person to reach its fullest human potential so humanistic perspective takes into account how an individual views the world how an individual perceives the world how an individual perceives reality and individuals in this real real world and in this particular perspective we'll be talking about carl rogers self theory aur hum isme baat karenge aapse ibrahim maslow's ki personality theory aur ye wo dono theories hain jisme self is the important thing which is in focus and both of them are trying to say that how an individual sees the world how an individual views personality so we are talking about with you with 
रेफरेंस टू पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ट्राई टू डिस्कस विद यू द फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट परस्पेक्टिव विच हैव अ मार्क इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी जिसमें हमने देखा जनाब साइको डायनेमिक परस्पेक्टिव डिस्पोजिशनल परस्पेक्टिव बिहेवियल परस्पेक्टिव एंड ऑफकोर्स द ह्यूमनिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव Dear students we began talking about in lecture number 3 we began talking about what is personality humne aap se baat ki janab personality assessment kya aur phir personality ke reference mein humne char perspectives ka influence dekha Dear students we talked about personality assessment today and the four important approaches or perspectives that influence personality psychology jab humne personality assessment ki baat ki usme humne aapse baat ki observation ki interview ki behavioral coding systems ki personality tests ki aur personality tests mein humne aapse baat ki objective personality tests ki mmpi 1 and mmpi 2 फिर हमने आपसे प्रोजेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट की बात की और प्रोजेक्टिव पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट में हमने रोशाक इन ब्लॉड टेस्ट की बात की थमेटिक ए परसेप्शन टेस्ट की बात की रोटर्स इनकम्प्लीट सेंटेंस ब्लैंक की बात की वर्ड एसोसिएशन टेस्ट की बात की और जनाब एच की बात की हाउस ट्री पर्सन की देन वी टॉक अबाउट द फोर परस्पेक्टिव और अप्रोचेज दैट आर दैट हैव हेल्प पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी इन मेकिंग इट अ डिसिप्लिन और अ साइंस और हमने उसमें देखा कि चार परस्पेक्टिव हैं जिसमें साइको डायनेमिक परस्पेक्टिव है जिसमें फोकस है अनकॉन्शियस के ऊपर डिस्पोजिशनल परस्पेक्टिव है जिसमें इंटरनल ट्रेड्स और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स पे फोकस है बिहेवियल परस्पेक्टिव है जिसमें फोकस है कि ऑल बिहेवियर इज अ लर्न फनोमन और उसके बाद ह्यूमनिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव पे बात की हमने जिसमें देखा कि हाउ एन इंडिविजुअल परसीव द वर्ल्ड द रियलिटी एंड पर्सन इन दिस इन इन दिस रियल वर्ल्ड डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड लिसनिंग टू आर लेक्चर ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू पर्सनैलिटी साइकोलॉजी इन आर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल बी बिगनिंग विथ theories of personality that is we'll be taking a complete personality theory by a theorist and begin talking about that i hope you have enjoyed listening to to our today's lecture as much as i have enjoyed talking to you do write to us if you have a problem take very good care of yourself hope to see you in the next lecture khuda hafiz